At the 2023 Seven Hills Run in the Netherlands, we saw yet another world record in this 2023 season. Running up front for the vast majority of this race was Jacob Kiplimo from Uganda, the half marathon world record holder and also this year's world cross country champion, so the man's fast. Now, the official world record for this racing distance, which is 15 kilometers, goes all the way back to the 2018 season on this very course, as his fellow countryman Joshua Cheptegei clocked a time of 41 minutes and 5 seconds, a time equivalent to 4 minutes and 24 seconds per mile, or 244 per kilometer. Now, through the opening stages of this race, Kiplima went out fairly conservatively, only passing through the opening three kilometers with a split time of 8 minutes and 42 seconds, which at this point in the race was actually 23 seconds down on Cheptegei's previous record. And then by the five kilometer split, he went through in 1424, which was still trailing pretty significantly behind Cheptegei's previous race. Now through the 5k split, Kiplima was already well into the lead, and the only real challenger left was Rogers Kabet of Uganda, who was only falling more and more back as the miles clicked by. And through the 10 kilometer mark, Kiplima clocked a time of 2749. Now a 2749 would be an amazing time for pretty much anyone else around the world, even for an open 10k, let alone a 15k. However, for someone with Kip Limo's credentials, including multiple world records to his name, crossing through 10 kilometers during a 15k race with this time was certainly not quite as fast as he's truly capable of running. And at this point in the race, many thought that the world record was pretty much not a possibility. But oh, how these naysayers were wrong, because Jacob Kip Limo absolutely unleashed over this final 5k. I mean, he dropped some ridiculous speed with 3.1 miles to go, because even though he needed to run this final stretch at an average pace of 416 per mile or 239 per kilometer, well, that's exactly what he did. Over this final 5k, Kiplimo dropped an absolutely absurd time of 13 minutes and 17 seconds, which is actually faster than the pace required to break 40 for the 15k. And as you can see, this brought him to the tape right at 41 minutes and 5 seconds, Bruh. which funnily enough, now ties him with Joshua Cheptegei as the official world record holder for the men's 15k. But the final detail that I wanted to add that left me absolutely baffled was the fact that over the final kilometer of this world record, Kiplimo reportedly ran a 2 minute and 31 second final kilometer, which is practically 60 second pace per lap of your standard track, for two and a half laps. This is some crazy speed, and we knew that Kiplimo was fast, but an ending surge like this tells me that pretty much under any other circumstance, he probably would have broken the world record by at least 20 or 30 seconds. It's also worth reiterating that during his world record in the half marathon, Kiplimo did cross through 15 kilometers in 40 minutes and 24 seconds, which is clearly more than 30 seconds faster than this performance, but given that it was en route to a longer run, doesn't qualify it as an official world record, even though it honestly makes it even more impressive in my opinion. Kiplimo is just one of those special athletes that from 3,000 meters up to the full marathon, he has real potential to do something special. He's already broken crazy boundaries in multiple runs, and now in the 15k he has done it once again. But on the track, this guy is a killer as well. So heading into next year's Olympics, I honestly would not be surprised at all if he brings home some hardware in either the 5,000 or the 10,000 meters. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.